Just a few weeks ago, we questioned how ready the city of Torrance would be in case of a sudden disaster. And those words were finally put to action after the recent explosion. No one would have guessed that something so tragic and random would happen of all places in the quiet city of Torrance. A one-story, three-bedroom house tended for termite fumigation exploded at dawn, waking up residents as far as two miles away. But as soon as disaster struck, the city was ready to respond. The Torrance police were here almost immediately, followed by the firemen. They have been so incredible. They helped everyone immediately. I can't believe the response. The neighbors all checked on each other. One of the things that we also did in an incident like this, we recognized the fact almost immediately that this was going to affect us on a citywide basis. So they activated our EOC, or Emergency Operations Center. We wanted to make sure that we were able to get information from the different departments in the city and then disperse it to the residents of Torrance to minimize the impact of this, uh, of this incident throughout the city. Within a matter of hours, cleaning crews already began clearing away the rubble and debris. Residents affected by the disaster were all evacuated and taken to safety. The Parks and Recreation Department also played an important role by initially setting up the temporary shelter at West High. This was later taken over by volunteers of the American Red Cross. We're a fortunate city today and uh, we've come together to help work these people through this problem. Even local companies like Pavilions, Giuliano's, Smart and & Final and Rascals contributed by donating food and supplies. And when the community needed it the most, everyone pulled together like a team. Torrance has such a, a neighborhood feel and even our, our Congress, I mean our council people are here, Frank Scotto's here, our mayor's here. The people here are very appreciative and that's why we live in Torrance. The city hosted a community meeting at West High School for residents affected by the disaster. Concerns such as insurance, building permits, city services, and other common problems were all discussed. If you own one of those popular PT cruisers or know of someone who does,